What toys do rabbits love best? Hello everyone, I am Mariska and I'm the bunny mom of four adorable rabbits. In this video I'm going to show you which toys rabbits love the most. Not only can they play with these toys alone or together, you can also join them when playing so you have interaction with them and can build up a relationship. Before we start, let me tell you that I bought all of these toys myself, nothing is sponsored and I bought them in the Netherlands, so I'm not sure if all of these are available worldwide, but I hope so, so you can uh, give them to your bunnies too. An activity hoop or hold. You can help your rabbits using up some of their energy to do activity games with them. I bought this hoop in the sports store nearby, and they actually love jumping through the hoop. Of course, I told them to jump through it, so I, I'm usually holding some treats before the hoop. And then they find out if I jump through, I will get the treats. So they love doing this, especially silver. I love using the hoop because it's very flexible. You can use it as high or as low as you want. Maybe your bunny is a bit scared, so at first he wants to jump you know, through a low hoop. This way you can practice with your bunny and make the game a little harder by holding the hoop higher and higher. You can also use a hold or multiple ones and this one was made by a friend of mine and the bunnies love this too. This hold is very flexible too. You can hold it lower or higher and you don't have to hold it in your hand all the time, which you have to do with the hoop. After playing these games for a while, my bunnies are very satisfied and exhausted. So they will usually take a nap and then I have some peace of my own. Snack boards. There's a variety of snack boards on the market. So depending on your country, you can buy wooden ones or plastic ones or whatever. Some of these snack boards are actually made for small dogs but they are used for rabbits as well. Some of the snack boards are fairly easy while others are more difficult with these little flaps they can you know, open. I am aware that snack boards are usually a bit expensive, but when you go to the thrift store, you might be able to find children's uh, jigsaw puzzles and you can use them too to uh, put treats in and cover the treats. My bunnies of course love food games because they get these treats and they are rewarded for their efforts. A snack roll. Snack rolls are quite easy for bunnies to play with because the holes are rather big. I usually put uh, some pellets inside these snack rolls. Sarah can be a bit bold at times and then she gets very naughty. So in the morning I'm giving her half of her pellets in their pen and the other half goes into the snack roll so she can play with it and it takes a while for her to eat. After that, she's usually less naughty. The IKEA bed. I think this is one of the most famous uh, chewing toys for rabbits. The IKEA doll bed is very popular with all kinds of pets and most rabbits have one in their home. They are either used with or without bedding. Some rabbits tend to chew holes in the bedding, so then it's better to leave it. Just give them the bed by itself and they will love sitting on it, sleeping on it, or chewing on it, whatever they want. It's a great toy and the wood is not treated, so it's safe to use. Poppy and Silver have a bunny room of their own. And when I'm bringing them to bed at night, they have to go onto the bed before I can leave their room. It's a little game that you have together. So I give them some treats on the bed and they will jump onto it and then I can leave the room and be sure they sleep in their bed. But of course, the next morning they have slept beneath the, the other bed. <laughs> balls. There are a lot of balls available for your rabbits. I have several balls in my house and when I had them at first, my rabbits wouldn't play with it. Sometimes they will, would roll it away because it was in their path, but they wouldn't actually, you know, play. So after a while I decided to put some carrots inside and then they would start rolling the ball to get the carrot out. And this game can be as easy or as hard as you'd like to make it. 
You can put small pieces of carrot inside or some other treats that are wide enough. You can also put larger ones inside and then it will be harder for them to get them out so they can play a bit longer. But be aware bunnies want to be rewarded for their game so don't make it too hard for them or they will lose interest. A sandbox. As you might know rabbits love to dig and when you have a garden you might have noticed rabbits love digging into the soil and make holes because yes they do this in nature. They love making holes, tunnels. It's what wild rabbits do as well. They make warrens. You can help your domestic rabbit by giving them a sandbox. In the Netherlands, these kind of shell formed boxes are very popular with small children. They are not that expensive, especially when you find them in a thrift store like this one. I actually put some soil from the garden inside the box. And my bunnies, well, they often dig inside a sandbox, but they also like to dig beside it. So I'm still teaching them to, you know, that this is the place they can dig in. A big advantage is that you can cover the sandbox. So when it's raining or maybe when you have cats roaming around the garden at night, you can make sure they don't pee inside. Tunnels. There are a lot of tunnels available for rabbits. So just look in the pet store and maybe you can find one that's to your taste. You have plastic ones and some made of fabric. I have this tunnel and my previous neighbor found this one somewhere outside. Uh, this, these tunnels are usually used for uh, sewage. So, but these are big enough for my rabbits and they love hiding in it and going through them. I have one in the garden as well, so when they don't feel safe, they have a place to hide. It's uh, something you might be able to find in the hardware store. Just like in nature, as I said, bunnies like to dig tunnels, so this is something that they can use to get back to their instincts. If your rabbits don't use the tunnels, you can put treats inside to make it more interesting for them. Cups. I'm not sure if these cups are available worldwide, but I've seen them a lot on Instagram and TikTok. I bought these cute cups online and these are actually made for very small children to play with, to put them on top of each other or to throw with them or whatever they like. And these are very popular with bunnies too. I usually put treats inside and stack them together so the bunnies can actually, you know, take one and throw it away and then get to the candy. You can also make a tower of these cups. You can be very creative and the bunnies can roll with them, throw with them, whatever they like. It's a very fun game to watch. Wooden drawers. I'm not sure if this game was actually made for rabbits. Maybe they were made for birds. But I found this game in a pet store and my bunnies like to use it. It's very enjoyable to see your bunnies take the drawers, throw them away or whatever they like to do with it. Sometimes they like chewing on it, so it's also a chewing toy. And well, sometimes they don't really understand what to do with it, so it can be a bit hard. But some bunnies are very smart and get it straight away. A foraging mat. I don't own a foraging map myself yet, but I've seen many sorts online. In the Netherlands they have this sunflower foraging mat, but they also have many different kinds. And I've seen people making them themselves, so it's a nice DIY project. I am going to buy one in the future, so I'm really curious to what my bunnies will find of it. If you have a foraging mat for your bunnies, I'm very curious to their reaction, if they really like it. I'm a bit afraid my bunnies will stop peeing on top of it because they like to mark that territory. So that's one of the reasons I haven't bought one yet. Carton boxes. One of the easiest toys available are carton boxes. If you're like me, you often order products online and these products often arrive in carton boxes. My bunnies usually have one large box to play with, to chew on, to sit inside, whatever they want. If you don't have a carton box, you might be able to get one from the local supermarket. In the Netherlands, most supermarkets have a place where you can get a box when you don't have a bag for your groceries. Before you give a carton box to your rabbits, make sure that it's a plain brown box without ink, because the ink can be dangerous to them. I also like to give my bunnies carton or paper packing materials. They like to chew on those too. Chewing toys. Rabbits love chewing and you might have rabbits that love chewing on your furniture. 
so it's a good idea to give them toys they can chew on so they won't get bored and won't consider your furniture as chewing toys. There's a huge variety of chewing toys available on the internet and in pet shops. Some are made of hay, grasses, willow branches or other materials. Of course, it's very easy to make chewing toys yourself. Maybe we have a willow tree in the area. But you can take the branches to make some toys yourself or you can use toilet rolls and fill them with hay. Still, I love doting on my bunnies by giving them a real toy sometimes from the pet shop. And that way I'm sure that the toy is safe for my bunnies to chew on and to eat. I am aware that lots of these toys can be a bit expensive, but I'm sure your bunny will love one or two of these toys and otherwise you can give them a carton box or maybe empty uh, toilet rolls. I'm very curious to the toys your bunnies have and love, so feel free to leave comments beneath this video. And if you like my channel, there's the option to subscribe. And if you like my videos, you actually support me. Well, I hope you like this and we'll see each other next time. Bye.